Coach, good morning. Good morning. While we wait on question, would you, questions, would you mind commenting on your team as you prepare, prepare for the game on Saturday? Sure, thank you. I apologize for being a few minutes late um, today. I think this is the first time in 10 years. But uh, anyway, uh, really excited to get back home and uh, play a game uh, against Youngstown State. Um, team that I'm very familiar with growing up in the Youngstown area, watching them for many years. My uncle coached for Youngstown State with Coach Tressel and won some national championships. My brother Ron uh, spent some time coaching there for oh, three, four, five years. And so very familiar with them and uh, a lot to build on. Uh, obviously very excited about coming off the, the game uh, last week. Uh, at Florida, uh, it's big, uh, coming off a, a conference win on the road so early in the season. So I feel like there's a lot to build on, and uh, we just want to keep it going and continue to improve. First up, we have Bob Holt, the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Uh, hey, hey, Mark, how you doing? Um, I'm doing all right. How about you, Bob? Good. Hey, con- congratulations on uh, being the all-time winningest coach. I know we talked about it at, at media days. Um, but you said maybe your mom and, and your brother Bob might might be there. I know you couldn't necessarily predict you're going to win that game, but um, what, what, was your family there? And just well, what is you know uh, uh, becoming the all-time winningest coach, especially when you pass a coach like Bear Bryant? It's not like it passed you know Joe Blow, Bear Bryant, you know. <laughs> Well, it's obviously it was really big uh, to to accomplish that feat um, in such a big game, especially against Florida, which we all know when I arrived. Uh, you know, to our fan base, um, you know, it's been a long time. So, uh, but that was really important. But yeah, the family is coming this weekend. Just being on the road, um, there's no getting around. It's just so hard. My mother's. Uh, you know, failing just a touch in her health, and uh, she's getting up there in age, and on the road is extremely difficult, especially when we get done about midnight, and uh, there's not a lot of time to spend with family when you're on the road road game. So uh, the plan all along was to come in this week versus Youngstown State. Again, such a, uh, a big game for my community, for us from being from Youngstown, and uh, we play a noon game, so I will be able to... Uh, you know, spend some time uh, with my mother, uh, Bob, and you know, my brother Ron, my sister, Rene, Kathy, everybody's coming. So happy Youngstown will be here this weekend, which will be a, it will be a lot of fun. Thank you, Steve Moulton, WDZN. Coach, hope you're doing well today. Thank you, doing good. Uh, Bob kind of went where I was going to go to, but since you went there, Coach, uh, how many tickets did you have to uh, pull for this weekend for you personally, Coach? Yeah, that's this is this is a rough one. Um, yeah, it's in it's in the hundreds. It's you know 120, 130, somewhere like that. And who knows how many people got tickets from Youngstown? You know, there are allotment as well. But uh, yeah, we'll have quite a few people here, which. Uh, you know it'll be it'll be good and uh you know we all love the night atmosphere um but in this case this game with so many people being here uh it'll be nice to play at noon every once in a while just so i could uh, get home hopefully get the victory and then uh, get home and watch somebody else sweat and stress out for the night and maybe enjoy myself for a few We have a follow-up from Bob Holt. Um, hey, Mark, I know you guys don't play Arkansas this year, but, you know, they've got a pretty good defensive line rotation, it looks like. And I'm just wondering, with your background, obviously, on defense, how important do you think it is to have to be able to rotate seven, eight guys in there, especially, you know, guys are getting bigger, teams yeah. are passing more. Just wondering, think, especially the top games. Yeah. yeah, I think it's extremely important. Um you know, twofold. I think it help you. You know, this. You know, during your current year, and and keep guys healthy, keep them fresh. You know, be productive at the end of games, which we all know there's so many close games in this conference. I think it, and it also helps develop. You know, because if you're rotating, 
seven, eight guys, there's, there's a good chance there's some underclassmen in there. And so I think just the, the development of, of the youngsters, so you have those leaders stepping in when others depart. And uh, I do want to say I, I uh, just caught bits and pieces of, of Arkansas, but always communicate with with uh, Sam. I think he does just just an amazing job. He's always uh, very supportive and complimentary of myself, but uh, I feel the same way about him. I'm just really impressed with what he's done in that team and uh, the way they play, and uh, it's probably a good thing we don't play them this year because they look pretty pretty darn good. We also have a follow-up from Steve Molson. Coach, uh, I, one thing that I just uh, I, I had to ask about is your defense and how well they played against Florida and a uh, guy by I mean thirteen in particular Weaver uh, of just uh, how much um, did that impress you of yeah. uh, just uh, how well they fly around and tackle as well, Coach. Well, I think it was it was really um, you know a great effort, and uh, you know I was very pleased and um, you know with with their preparation and the way they played all week and in practice and you know JJ you mentioned JJ I agree I thought he you know was outstanding and then of course Jordan Wright getting him back and making some impact plays himself and, and he's kind of the energy guy he brings a lot of energy to our to our team but. Uh, to be able to play, um, you know, that team on the road uh, as well as we did just says a lot about our coaching staff, Coach Brad White, my defense coordinator, and the rest of the defense staff. And, and players really just did an outstanding job. They were well prepared. And they were very confident and uh, played extremely tough uh, in, in a hostile environment against a very talented quarterback. And, uh, you know, so uh, hats off to those guys, to the defense coaches and the players. Next is Matt Smith of Southern Pigskin. Good afternoon, Mark. When you think of Youngstown and its place, I guess, in the story of the sport, are there any traits of yours that you attribute to your time in Youngstown or anything about a proverbial Youngstown guy that has helped that area produce so uh, many influential yeah. figures in this sport? Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, Youngstown had a, a great deal with, with shaping myself, my brothers, my family, you know, so many others that uh, the great coaches and not just coaches, there's so many other successful people that have come from there, um, you know, that, uh, that you know, it's it's really impressive and you know and and Youngstown has a lot to do with that I think it's just the the you know really strong blue collar mentality that people have there um you know during you know when I was growing up the steel mills were in full you know kicking full force and and uh, a lot of people you know just just you know had blue collar jobs and it was a very tough area you know it really was and and you know, it just taught you at a young age. You, you you had to go, you know, you had to go work for it. What you get, nothing's going to be given to you. Nothing's promised. And uh, go go make your own way. And uh, there's a lot of people in Youngstown, and it's a great place and great people. And <clears throat> has a tendency to get a bad rap uh, here and there, but there's uh, there's just a, a lot of impressive uh, people that come out of Youngstown, and that still live in Youngstown. Your final question will come from Mike Griffith of the AJC. Coach, looking at this one score record, uh, 29 to 2016, that's a, that's a heck of a winning edge. Is that something that you and your players are cognizant of? And is there, does that breed uh, an extra layer of confidence when you're in those tight games that you say sweating, sweating through? But is that, no. you think that's a trademark of the program? Well, I think you know there's a there's definitely a no panic uh, you know within our program. It's it's you know about making adjustments, not making excuses. Like what do we need to do next? And our team is very much like that. We've been like that for years. They're very resilient. We have very strong leadership, and uh, you know it, it may not always be pretty, pretty but uh, we're going to do you know the things necessary, and uh, that's what we try to do. We're not 100 percent, and uh, we're not perfect, but uh, I love these guys and the way they compete the way they prepare and uh you know they always have that no flinch attitude you know there's there's not much that's going to ruffle our, our feathers around here 